everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to add plugins to a Minecraft 1.17.1 server. Now, this is going to require a special server type. It's going to require a bucket, spigot, or paper server. We personally recommend paper, it's overall the best. And we do have an in-depth guide in the description down below. The third link down below will show you how to make a paper server. It goes over every single step of getting a paper set up, from downloading it, to installing it, to setting it all up. It's all in the description down below. Not only do we have this video, but we also have a very convenient in depth text guide as well. So make sure you do get your papers set up. However, we're here to get plugins, so let's go ahead and do it. Wait, first though, we have this for our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex to add plugins to our Minecraft server in the quickest and easiest way possible. Guess what? They also have very, very quick and easy to set up of paper, so you don't even have to worry about sending up paper. You just set it up, and you're good to go. We can install plugins on it very, very quickly in just a few clicks. It's absolutely amazing. We actually love it just Apex so much. We have store on server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. And not to mention that if you have any issues with your plugins, guess what? They have 24 hours a day, seven day a week support at Apex. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get plugins up and running on your server. To do that, you want to again go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our top five, or sorry, 15, we updated it recently, 15 plugins for Minecraft servers. Awesome plugins. Today we're going to be installing Essentials X. All these, by the way, are updated to 1.16, or not, sorry, 1.17.1, so you don't have anything to worry about that. So you've got World Edit, we have also got Essentials X, and then we're going to go ahead and grab Player Warps, which is one that I've uh, followed for a very, very long time. So all the way towards the bottom, Player Warps here, go ahead and grab that one as well. I've done this, by the way, by just right clicking on them, or sorry, like shift or control clicking on them. You can also right click and open them all with a new link, and here they are. Now, when you click on Essentials, you'll notice it only says 1.16 here. However, if you click on this bid red download button, it's going to take you to Essentials of beta builds, if you will. They're development builds, right? So once you're here, you'll be able to see that development build is clicked, and we can from here click download on Essentials X, as well as Essentials Chat and Essentials X Spawn. Now in the description, or not in the description, in the bottom down below here, we do have a keep keep and keep on Google Chrome. We want to keep all these files on Mozilla Firefox. You'll need to save the file. You can do that on Mozilla Firefox again in the center of your screen. Save the file. You're good to go. Moving on, let's move on to World Edit. Then once you're on World Edit's download page here, we want to click on File, and then we want to click on the little gray download button here, and it will go ahead and download the World Edit in the bottom left. Again, we want to make sure that is the 1.17.1 version, which it is, and we can keep that in the bottom left. And then Player Warps as well. Player Warps is a bit different because it's on Spigot, which is actually where you download a lot of your plugins, and as long as it says 1.17 here, which it does, we can just go on this blue download button and it will download in the bottom left where we can go ahead and keep the file in the bottom left. Now, we also have Adam here. Later in the video, we're going to use Adam to edit some of the files that we're going to have on our server, right? Some of the different plugin files. This is what I use. It's the text editor that I use. However, if you don't like Adam, use a different one. Doesn't matter what one, which one you use, but I would recommend a code style text editor like Adam instead of like Notepad. So anyway, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And we have a bunch of stuff on our desktop. We have Essentials X, we have Essentials X Spawn, and Essentials X Chat, right? Then we also have World Edit and Player Warps. So to install these, we wanna go ahead and open up the folder we have with our paper server in it, right? So open up your paper server folder here. And then in here, we, this is where you're gonna have like your paper.jar file, your run.bat file, all that stuff. From here, you wanna open up the plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a paper server. So you need to go start one at the video in the description down below. Open up our papers folder here, and then to install your plugins, just drag and drop them into the plugins folder within your paper folder. It's pretty simple. Drag and drop your plugins into this plugins folder. You're good to go. Now we can go ahead and run the server. I'm now going to go ahead and do a jump cut until this server is live, and I'll show you what happens after the server is live. It's basically going to generate a bunch of files while it's starting up. So I made a little mistake in starting our server. I forgot Vault, and Vault is required for pretty much every plugin out there, so it's pretty imperative you have it. I've linked Vault in the description down below. Set it up here. This is our in-depth kind of Vault tutorial. But once you're here, go ahead and click on Download Vault. It takes you off to Spigot where we can see 1.17. Click that blue download button and keep it in the bottom left. Pretty used to this at this point. And to install Vault, just like any other plugin, you're going to go ahead and open up your paper server folder and click on Plugins and drag and drop Vault into your plugins folder. However, now we need to go ahead and stop the server and start it back up, this time with Vault so all of our plugins work. That's my bad. I do apologize. And uh, now you know. Kind of glad I forgot that because uh, might not have included it otherwise. See you again once this server is live. All right, now with Vault, we do have Essentials, Player Warps, Vault, and World Edit all up and running. Now, one of the things that I want to mention is all of your server files, where we join the server and do all that stuff, all of your server files are here. So we can click on Essentials and we can edit these. For example, if I double click on this, it's going to open up with Atom because I have the Atom text editor installed, and we're going to be able to change the different config files that are here. So one of the things I want to do is actually come in here and change the ops color from four to, let's say, 
nine, because why not? Then go ahead and save that. We can also do other stuff, for example, in here, you know, change teleport radiuses and all sorts of stuff like that. But one of the things that we can do is come down here is to different spawn points. For example, kits and things like that for when you spawn, that can all be changed here as well. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So file, save, and then we can go ahead and open up our server. By the way, all of these have different files. For example, Player Warps has a config file here that we can go in and edit with Adam, right? All of these have that. It's very, very important that you edit these and make your server unique and custom to you. But um, yeah, pretty cool stuff and something that I would recommend you doing. So maybe I can come down here and like change a, a different, you know, a different thing real fast. Um, I, I don't see anything specifically that I can fit, like quickly change, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and join this server. I'm gonna open up Minecraft. We'll join it right on up. So here we are, our server is live and Minecraft is live. Let's go ahead and jump into multiplayer. This is a local server, so we can correct connect to the local host. Wait, what was that? Playdownbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, 1.17, Creepy Dragon Survival. Come check it out, it's absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and click the direct connection here and then click join server with the local host. And now we'll see us pop in over here. Now once we're in game, we can kind of check all of these out, but I would recommend to opting yourself uh, just to be able to use everything from default. So uh, let's go ahead, come over here into our console, type op and then our username. So op space our username and hit enter. As you can see, we are now opting game. I was going to time set day over here just because that's easier. So we have a few things. One is world edit. That was really easy. Slash slash wand. And then we can go ahead and um, I don't know, just turned all of this into nether wart. Sure. Slash slash replace. And then we're going to replace the grass block with nether uh, not nether warts. That's not what I wanted. I wanted nether quartz. Sure. Nether quartz or There you go. Bam. That is now done. Looks horrible, but it is what it is. It's proof that world edit is working. Cool. So there is world edit. We also installed instantials X, which means we can do slash set spawn, for example, and then do slash spawn as we get killed by a, a baby zombie running after us with fire. What's great though, actually, go ahead and kill us, baby zombie. Because when we when the baby zombie kills us, we're going... You didn't do your job. But now we can do slash spawn, get back to spawn. We can also set homes. So for example, we wanted to set a home looking at the nether wart. We can do slash set home and then nether uh, quartz, bam. And then we can do spawn and then home nether quartz to get back to there. Really cool stuff. You can do that anywhere in the world, teleport you around. Just a few like basically features. There's also slash kit, for example. So we can do slash kit tools. And that's gonna give us those slash kit notch is also one as well. So bam, for example, I don't know if notch gave us anything. Yes, there it is, notch's head, cool stuff. And then after that, we do have player warps, which means we can slap P warp. So a lot of warping here. Didn't do that by design, but kind of is what it is. So we wanna do slash P warp. And then I believe it is create. Is it create? Yes, or P warp set, see P warp set and then test. And then we can, oh, I need $500. So eco give. Myself, 500. <clears throat> That's one way to set a P warp. There we go. And now we can run over here, right? And we will be able to do slash P warp test. There it is, bam. We can also do the P warp menu and go to all the warps and there is test and we can click on it and teleport there. So really cool stuff. If you're in game, you wanna see your plugins, you can actually do slash PL. You can also do this over here from the console slash or, slash, or just do PL and it will show you your plugins. Green plugins mean they're working, which all of ours are. Red mean they're not working and yellow usually means they're working, but maybe with some errors or something like that. You won't see a lot of yellow plugins. Most of them will be red or green. But nevertheless, that is how you can download and install plugins in Minecraft 1.17.1. You can add any plugins you want as long as they're 1.17 compatible to a 1.17 server without any problems whatsoever. Again, you've got World Edit, you've got World Guard, you've got Essentials, you've got Shop GUI, so many different plugins that you can add. And also make sure you add Vault with them as well. Otherwise, they're not going to work as we saw. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.